the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to Information with Tafiso. I am Tafiso Awangwejana and you're tuned in to Thursday, the 29th of December 2022. Zerap City Reading. We are approaching the end of 2022 and getting ready to enter 2023 with so much grace. Today's title is Your Role in the Gospel. While you're still at that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Go ahead and like these videos, share them with your loved ones, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let's get back to the Rhapsody reading. The opening scripture is Romans chapter 1 verse 16. It reads as follows. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. Pastor says, as God's children, our role in the gospel is clearly defined. Our Lord Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 15. In Matthew 28, verse 19, he said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Like the Apostle Paul, you ought to personalize your role in the gospel and say, According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. That is seen in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 11. The gospel has been committed to your trust. How faithful are you to its spread around the world? Has it dawned on you that you are a soldier and taking the gospel to every man's world as Jesus asked us to do means war? In every nation, you have the civilians and you have the army. The army has a role that's clearly defined for them. To defend the nation, protect vital national interests, and fulfill national military responsibilities. You are in God's army. That's shown in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. Working in sync and in partnership with an unseen heavenly host to cover the earth with God's righteousness. This heavenly host, by God's principles, can't do the things they need to do without us, and there's a whole lot we can't do without them. You have a role in the scheme of things. You are God's watchman, his mouthpiece and messenger. You are a co-laborer with God, his minister of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation that is seen in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. While there's a raging battle for the souls of men, God needs you to prevail in prayer and preach the gospel with all fervency. Praise the Lord. Let us take today's prayer. Raise your hands and say, Dear Father, I thank you for raising passionate, committed, and fearless laborers for the end time harvest fields around the world. I thank you that the people's hearts are made ready to receive the gospel gladly and be converted to the kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. For further studies, we read 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 to 20. 
If you're on the one year Bible reading plan, today we're reading Revelations 20, all of it, and Zechariah chapter 12 to chapter 14. If you're on the two year Bible reading plan, today we read Revelations 21, verse 13 to 27, and Zechariah chapter 13 to chapter 14. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Please join us tomorrow, Friday the 30th of December, Rhapsody reading that is titled, Be Inspired to Prophesy. This is Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Aramujana and thank you so much for tuning in.